One of the topics we're discussing here at the Asian Investment Conference today is central bank policy in India and maintaining the country's growth. And joining us now is Dr. Sabir Gokhan, Deputy Governor at the Reserve Bank of India. Dr. Gokhan, the RBI cut predictions for economic growth in India. Why and what are the reasons for the economic slowdown? Well, we started the year with 8% uh, uh, and we had certain expectations of inflation behaving in a particular way. It did not, partly because of oil prices, but some other factors also. Uh, so as we uh, tightened interest rates a little more, we uh, felt that growth would slow down more than we anticipated. So that was one reason. The other is that uh, there have been some developments which have uh, tended to weaken the investment climate domestically, and that has resulted in investment activity being a little lower than we expected. And the third is, of course, global uncertainty has uh, in many ways increased and has also contributed to a, a sense of uh, a sort of general decline in sentiment about capital inflows and other factors. So, so all of these have contributed to our expectation that growth during this year would be slower than when we began the year. How can the, the government encourage spending and investment without promoting inflation and further weakening the rupee? I think we have to learn from our very uh, recent experience from 2003-2008. We saw a scenario where government uh, scaled down its uh, deficit very sharply. Uh, that in turn allowed for interest rates uh, to remain uh, investment friendly. And that in turn, along with a number of other things going on, but uh, that in turn helped investment to rise sharply. So as we see the fiscal deficit going down, uh, this allows uh, the central bank to, to sort of take a more uh, expansionary stance uh, on, on interest rates, which in turn help, uh, of course, uh, along with many other things, help investment to start to come back. So that's really the scenario which we're uh, looking at as we go forward. And what priorities will guide the RBI going forward this year? The priority of RBI remains and has always been inflation. We, we don't want to be in a situation where because of other things that are going on or things that we do, that the risk of inflation just uh, spiraling out of control uh, increases. And so inflation management is always going to be our number one priority. Uh, but we want to do it in a way which doesn't completely undermine uh, the growth dynamics or other uh, macroeconomic conditions. And so that's the balancing act that we're constantly seeking. What policy actions are needed? Well, the first uh, important element of this was uh, trying to bring the fiscal deficit under control. The budget that we had last week uh, has made some significant moves towards both short-term consolidation, but more importantly, long-term consolidation. I think that's very important. The second is really a set of policy initiatives that, have, that address key bottlenecks in the economy. Food is one, infrastructure is another, human capital, that is uh, workers with skills, is a third. Uh, and there are initiatives uh, underway to address all of these, not necessarily part of the budget, but uh, have been on the designing block for, for a while and you know, many of them have actually reached a point where it's a matter of you know, implementation. Some of these will require to be validated politically, so that's, that's a process that has to be uh, managed. But at the end of it, I think these are the, the, the initiatives uh, that ultimately will ease these bottlenecks, which tend to always put uh, inflationary pressure on the, on the economy. Thank you, Dr. Gokhan. Thank you. Stay tuned to AIC TV for more insights from thought leaders.